Hi, my name is Tara Macy, and I'm a GIS Solutions Specialist at Geosoft. Geosoft's geochemistry for ArcGIS extension enables you to integrate your geochemical data within the ArcGIS environment. It is designed for geologists working with geochemical data. The geochemistry for ArcGIS toolbar includes a number of menus designed around a geochemical data workflow, providing easy-to-use tools for common activities. This includes tools for creating projects, importing data from various external sources, creating layers and setting symbology, running quality assurance, and single or multiple element analysis. You can visualize your data using a variety of statistical plots and by creating grids and contours. There's also a 3D environment that enables you to drape your geochemical data over topography data. This video will provide an overview of these capabilities and how they will be used in a typical geochemistry workflow. We begin by opening a geochemistry project, which is a file geodatabase. This makes it easy to share the project, which may include different surveys or different types of geochemical samples. These samples may be spatially distinct or may be different media types such as soils, stream sediments, or drill core samples. Each survey contains sample locations along with attributes and assay results that have been received from the analytical lab. The locations and assay results are merged using the sample number IDs. The Merge and Verify report highlights any samples that are missing from either dataset, identifying any mismatched or missing samples. The Merge dataset can be viewed as a table containing XY locations, sample attributes, and the assay results. If required, quality control tools can be used to extract duplicate and standard samples and display the results in a set of reports. This standards report shows all elements using a default error tolerance. Samples that have fallen outside of our acceptable criteria are highlighted red. This report may be stored as part of the Project Geo database. Duplicate samples are displayed in a similar report, which identifies any duplicates that have failed the tolerance criteria. We can use data leveling to visualize the relationships that exist between assay results and a classification field such as year, sample type, or lithology. The Level Assay Data tool includes numerous leveling options. We will use the mean of each lithology type to level the assay data. The leveled data are stored in a new data table. In order to visualize the field sample results in a map, a feature class must be created from the merge table. This feature class will display our sample locations in the data frame. Symbology can be applied to the feature class using any of the ArcGIS Symbology tools, such as the Coloring by Quantities option or the Coloring by Categories option. The visualization tools include the ability to specify breaks and set color zones for the different elements. In the Set Assay Colors tool, select all or a subset of the elements to use. A series of color zones based on percentiles can then be applied very quickly. In this example, the lower 50th percentile of the data is dark blue, the values between 50 and 75 percent are cyan, and so on. These breaks in colors are stored as part of the project and will be applied to histograms and probability plots created from the feature class. The Create Map Layers tool creates individual layers for any of the elements we are interested in. A map layer is created for each of the selected elements using the percentile colors that were set in the previous tool. This creates several different layers, one for each of the elements chosen. Turning on and off those individual layers quickly allows us to see different distributions or patterns in those elements. Geochemistry for ArcGIS provides several analysis tools. Correlations Report is a multi-element report showing each of the elements in our data set as a scatter plot against all of the other elements. The plots are color-coded based on a correlation coefficient between two elements. This enables you to quickly identify groups of elements that might have a strong relationship. In this case, we see that nickel is strongly correlated with copper, chromium, and cobalt. This graph can be stored as a part of the project. Right-click for options to plot the graph to the layout, 
or copy it to the clipboard. The analysis tools will enable us to compare how different samples in our data set relate to the other spatial information, such as geology. With the histogram analysis tool, a colored histogram is created from any of the elements in the data set. Selecting chromium shows two separate subgroups or populations in this data set. Using the ArcGIS selection tools in combination with our graphing tools, we can easily identify different populations and see the different spatial relationships between those populations. Selecting the lower portion of the data set also selects the samples in the data frame. Most of these samples plot in the two rock groups to the southeastern portion of the study area. The higher chromium values plot to the northwest of the study area. We can also plot this graph to the layout view. Other analysis tools have similar capabilities. The probability tool will also use the percentile break colors from the set assay colors tool and apply these colors to the feature class. You can also select sections of the probability graph and see those selections on the map view. The scatter analysis requires two elements to be represented on the horizontal and vertical axes. You can plot the linear regression tool and view the slope, intercept, and correlation. The Appearance tab enables the individual symbols to be colored using another attribute of our data. Selections can be made directly in the Scatter Plot tool by digitizing a rectangle or polygon. The samples we select will be selected on the map as well. The Ternary Analysis tool is similar to the Scatter Analysis tool, but it creates a ternary graph using three elements. It can be color-coded to another element, so you can effectively see four different elements represented on the ternary graph. In the box plot analysis, we see the distribution of a given element based on the categories. In this case, we are using our lithology attributes as the category because assay distribution usually varies quite strongly by lithology. There are numerous display options for the box, whiskers, and outliers. All of the analysis graphs can be stored in the Project Geo database, and they can also be plotted to the layout view. Gridding uses either the Krieging or minimum curvature options. Here we will look at the minimum curvature routine. A feature class, or a table, is selected from our table of contents, and an attribute to grid, such as copper, is identified. The output grid file name is required. Geochemistry data often exhibits a logarithmic distribution, so we can choose a logarithmic gridding from the advanced options. The gridded raster is created and automatically plotted in the data frame. You can reorder or modify the display properties to change the color ramp or transparency of a grid. Contours from the gridded data can be displayed as well at even or discrete intervals. We will choose a table to contour and assign the shapefile a name. Here's a shapefile of copper contours at 50 parts per million. The map layers, the gridded raster data, and the contours of the geochemistry data can be compared to other data sets, such as our geology, our Landsat imagery, topography data, or even geophysical data. We can drape shapefiles and layer files onto the topography in the 3D viewer. This is useful to compare our results to topography and drainage. Here we will open a 3D view and add our relief surface as well as our geology. The 3D viewer also allows us to import various vector formats. And we can save this view to the layout as well. Here's our final presentation map that we created using our geochemistry data 
our analysis tools, the gridding and contouring tools, and the 3D tools. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to know more about Geosoft's Geochemistry for ArcGIS extension, email us or visit the Geosoft website.